Good evening, good evening, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Peace on the Street. That was a jam, girl. What? Where has this music gone? I don't know where it's gone to a lot of music that we don't understand. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? We just don't understand some of this music that's going on today, you know, but... It's good to have peace on the streets, and you know we play the love song. Oh, come on, come on! So we want to say hello to Orlando, Florida. Ow. We hope all is well with you all, you know, and stop the killing. For sure. I mean, I woke up this morning two murders. No. Every day, you wake up as two or three murders. Young people. I mean, nineteen, twenty years old. I mean, I mean, really, what they so upset about? Right. I mean, what are they really? But you know. No confrontations these days. You can't get into it with nobody. I mean, no, just, you cannot. You know, nowadays it's bang really bang, can't. shoot them up, bang bang, straight up. And the road rage is horrific in oh, Florida. Oh, oh my God! It's it's like it's mind blowing. It's it's honestly, you would probably get chased down if you beep at somebody. Right. I'm just saying, and, and shot. It's a high chance. Yeah. Of getting shot because everyone can own a gun. Right. Over 18 years old, you can just purchase a gun, and there's somebody that's and, under. And, and it seems like everybody's on the edge. Is it why? They're so edgy. I don't know. It seemed like the, after Corona or whatever, it really got worse. There's a lot of things that are just more accessible now, and, and that's the problem. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? And guns is just, and people just really think that they can shoot somebody now they have a gun. Yeah. It's a setup. The standing your ground, ground law, it doesn't work for brown people. It I'm does not saying. stand your ground. <laughs> nah, it don't work. Absolutely it, not. It, 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 ain't, it ain't for us, you know what I'm saying? Hey, guys, if you want to go check us out, go to wokbradio.com. See us live right now in the studio as we get the peace on the streets.com page going. Yeah, yeah. We got to make sure that everything's running in motion. That's right. And we're live right now in effect on peace on the streets radio. How'd you like the Super Bowl, guys? We got Derek on the building. We got Prince in the building. <laughs> How you doing, Derek? I'm good. How are you? All right, all right. Good to have you in. Good to be here. Come on, come well, on. The Super Bowl was a good game. It was a really good Super Bowl. Yes, it was. I'm, honestly, I was on my toes. I was like, I was laughing because it wasn't my team. I was like, let's see who's going to make it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> let's see who's got this. And I was laughing about it because I have no stress because my team's not there. So but what a game. Yeah. So, Carlos, how you all feel about it? Come on. Some people felt like there was a bad call right there in the end. At the end. I know. know. I heard the crowd. That's it, a game changer so, right there, though. It did change. But he did grab him. Yes. He grabbed him a little bit but, now. <sighs> but we just felt like they should let some things go. Yeah. They felt like they should have let that, that go. I mean, I feel like it was a call. That is a game changer. It did. <laughs> it, it, set, it set him up to win. It did. Yeah, of course. And by the way, we have sports talk a little bit later in the next 20 minutes. You guys don't want to miss it because right now we're going to talk about the Super Bowl yeah. and more some with Bruce Rothschild. And if you don't know who he is, yeah. he's a former NFL fullback for the San Diego Chargers. And he's a big guy, a too. A big guy. And he's a friend of Peace, uh, of peace on the Street. That's you right. He's been airing with us for quite some time. Uh-huh. And the guy is humongous. And he's an older gentleman now. Yes. I can only imagine but did you hear how many sports that he played? He oh, ran yeah. track. He threw the right. shot put. And the guys, I mean. He's I, an athlete, period. He, yes, he is. But I can tell. Aren't all of them are? Yes, If, like, are. if you're signed to the NFL, NBA, MLB, aren't you an athlete, period? You're one of the best in the world. Yeah, you're, you're best in the game. You're best in being an athlete. Whatever you choose to do, yeah. I think you pretty much can be successful. At least, you know, what's your, what's your best sport? You That's know what I mean? right. An athlete is an athlete. So big shout out to Bruce because he's right here locally in Orlando. Yeah, he's big gonna Bruce. He's going to be coming with us tonight. We are so proud of him and everything he does for the community. That's right, you guys. He's always working out in Melbourne. Yeah. Working with the vet. Veterans right. and the homeless. Bruce is a solid guy. He's a stand-up guy. He truly is, and he works with the veterans, which is pretty unique. He actually works at the grave sites of these veterans that are just being um, uh, either demolished or not being recognized or just are in need of lawn care or help. Because believe it or not, you know these, these are not all of the plots, not all of like the graveyards are uh-huh. actually being taken care of. Right. It depends who owns it and who if they own it, if they want to do anything about it. Uh-huh. Well, he goes to these graveyards and he cleans it up. Wow. And brings in volunteers to Sweet. keep the veterans' um, grave graveyards, you know, their plots. Yeah. Clean. Thumbs up to you, bro. Yeah, that's a lot of and work. And all your man. endeavors, man. We love time. you, bro. Yes, indeed. It's a lot. We give a shout out to all our sponsors. Oh, let's do it. We want to give a shout out to three, two, one, no fall. In, in case you're involved in any kind of accident, <laughs> Derek is laughing at me. Slip and fall. <laughs> Call our girl Mimi. Give it to him, Mimi. 
Come on, guys. In any sort of accident, commercial, personal, I protect you legally, medically, with no cost, out of pocket, personal injury, a slip and fall. Yeah. Workers' comp, even. So reach out to me, guys. You never know. You have a, you may have a potential case and not even know it. Uh-huh. Just reach out to me at 407 267 7378. So instead of dealing with the insurances, the other parties, or them coming at you, we take care of it. You step back and we do all of the work. You don't have to speak to no one. I say plead the fifth. Yeah. So make sure you reach out to me, 407 267 7378. I got you guys covered. I just helped out my basketball friend the other week. Nice. He's an athlete. Okay. He had a headache for so long after the accident, he said nothing. Uh. And I tell him, this is very important. It's being an athlete. Something can happen later on, and it could, could do because of the accident, and you didn't even say anything. Right. You have 14 days, guys, in Florida to make sure you say something. You can lose all of your rights. And guess what? He got checked up. Okay. He did have a little bit of bleeding. This is very important. Wow. So now he's being taken care of. So longevity-wise, uh-huh. they have to. Nice. Hey, guys, make sure you call somebody. Just don't think you're going to be okay because you may not feel nothing right then because right. your adrenaline is running and everything. That's but in the next couple exactly of days, what it is. you can be really hurt. So – Make sure you give our girl a call. Give them the contact number yes, one guys. more time. One more time, guys, and that's called progressive pain. That's when you feel pain after the accident because most of us don't want to spot. so much going on. Mm-hmm. So give us a call, 407-267-7378. I got you guys covered, man. I got your back. And don't worry, it only takes about 15 minutes to see right. if you have a case or not. And they'll prove you right away. I've been approved they will. twice. Yes. I had a couple of slip Right calls. away, they will tell you yes or no. That's if right. If they can so. legally pick it up and they feel like they have a great case for And you. they'll get you into physical therapy expedition. That's I have to. <laughs> it's the words he's using. That's my, that's my boy. Right away, they will bring you in. I'm talking about probably the next day due to statutes of limitations. That's right. So guess what? We're connected with a tax company right now. All right. That's giving our Peace on the Streets listeners $50 off that's on big. their taxes. Nice. If they come into the office personally. So it's called Tax Smith. He's right here in Orlando. He's mm. our personal friend that's been running this establishment for over seven years. Nice. He knows what he's doing. You guys, do not be calling these people that you don't know. You're giving your information out to people that put a sign out on the street. Don't I you can't know crooks? Do you know crooks are doing that? I knew someone and I knew she was good and crazy. And I said, Well Lisa, what are you doing? I'm doing taxes. I said, Taxes? Girl, I wouldn't give you my receipts for nothing. (laughs) My social security number, all your information. So beware, you guys, when you are doing your taxes. Just because they talk about they can get you thirteen, fourteen, fifteen thousand dollars, they also can get that check sent to them. Exactly that, guys. I'm not sure if you guys understand the logistics of it. Not many. Not all do, but when they're filing your taxes, they're getting your personal bank information or your address. They can actually get it sent to them first and then be sent to you. Yeah. They don't have to give it to you. You know how hard Even it though is you to can get, get your money charged, back? Yeah, but you got to fight for that. Right. You know, and then once they get your information, your social security, everything, you're screwed for the long, long wise. And I never understood why people just keep jumping back and forth or going to those signs on the right. road. Uh-huh. Know your people. And we know my tax smith. He actually works with the No Faults Group as well. So again, nice. over four years of my life. Okay. Amazing individual. Nice. He his own business and that, that's what we do support local businesses that's here in it. Florida For sure. and he's got you covered $50 off if you go in there make sure you say peace, peace on, on the, the street we also have transmission auto repair place they had 4685 old winter garden they fix your car from the rooter to the tilda. <laughs> every time you know he says they drop my stuff <laughs> <laughs> so that's what they do you guys you have an uh, engine problem transmission tire problem anything for a car Give them uh, guys a call. They are friends at Transmission Repair Place. They will take care of you. And I like them because they'll be honest. They're not just right. in it for the money. Right. They're trying to be a customer, of which they do have a big customers, you know what I'm saying, base. But they will tell you the truth. They ain't just in it just to take your money. Right. It's, it's a big deal. So, again, they have financing, actually, which is available as well. So go to them at 4685 Old Winter Garden Road, Orlando, Florida, 32811, Transmission and Automotive Repair. It's on our page. You can't miss it. And let them know you heard it on Peace on the Street. You get Must. a 15% discount. That's never one. Yeah. That's how we do it, you guys. When Come we look up with these companies, we uh, really push them. We look out for you all so you all can get a discount. We're working out partnerships and making sure they can support all our listeners. That's important. We think about you guys. That's right. And we have another company, you guys, called Rent a Man with a Truck, you guys. Come on. A lot of you all be needing a man with a truck. With the rent man of a truck, how value that is, you don't have to go rent a truck. You don't have to get a man. 
And then you don't have to hire yeah. your brothers and your friends. Yeah. They're breaking your your your, uh, your your furniture. They are professional. They have professional movers. Right. They're number 407-837-5469. Rent a man with a truck. So it's not just rent a truck. You know, it's not just when you go and you rent a truck from what? what the U-Haul. Yeah, U-Haul. U-Haul, right. You actually rent a man and a truck. And a so trailer. So you get the truck and the trailer, you're getting a service to help you lift your items out. So it's not just the truck itself. That's a big deal, especially for women. That's right. I need the whole thing. Who's going to call? To That's go right. lift this up. Exactly. And you call your friends, they don't show up. <laughs> right. Because a lot of times people don't want to pay. They don't, no, they, they, they they don't, don't want to do that work. <laughs> no. They don't want to do that work. But and you then, get two. You get all this in one shot. Exactly. And then Because, you know, sometimes you have to take things from the bottom floor to the third floor. That's, I know it's That's and, the you worst know, part. So, you know, and, you know, you just, when you have valuable things, you know, you don't want to just tow up. So you want to move right. So rent a man in a truck. Give them a call. 407-837-5469. They'll take care of all your moving needs. Woo! Now when you're finishing and you're hungry, go to Slap the Apple Memphis Style Barbecue. You can go on the page and look them up. They'll take care of all your catering needs for us barbecue, our customers' appreciations, and all those kind of good things. So give them a call at 321-438-8312. 321-438-8312. Slap the Apple Memphis Style Barbecue. What else we got? Mrs. Angela. Yes. Miss International World's coming with the Coco Cabana. There's so many things going on right now yeah. in the world. I can't wait for it to express exactly what's going on with this. This is like history. Kiana's in the, in the building. She didn't skip ah, in there. Your hey, eyes come here, Kiana. Come, come on, here, Kiana. girl. How you doing? <laughs> come and say hello to the people. Hi. Uh-uh, uh-uh, no. Because, you know, Kiana's been around with us almost a year now. Yes. And we love and adore Kiana. And, you know, so say something to the people. How was your Valentine's Day? It was good. Come on. It was very good. Yeah. Okay. All right, so she's just a little shy. She got to warm up. <laughs> oh, that's right, you guys. Ow! Keep it locked to Peace on the Streets and call us. We want to hear from you today. Give us a call at 407 894 Again, 407 894 And listen, my Philadelphia family, I'm sorry. I'm sorry it happened. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, you know, right after Valentine's Day, you know, we still rocking and rolling because we do believe in love. Come on. Love is not gone. You know what I'm saying? Do so, you believe love at first sight? Yes. <laughs> Look at the yeah. ladies. <laughs> yes. You can, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can have that attraction and be like, man, uh, I think, you know, I kind of like that person. You guys, but don't you, you think like everybody kind of like, if you're attracted to you, like, I like them. Like, don't you know? It's different from love at first sight. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah, you yeah. could be attracted to somebody, but then you're like, oh. Like yeah, you got vibe. to get to know them. Yeah, like yeah. the vibe. The, Let me say, though, attraction is everything. It's sight, yeah. vibe, smell. I'm just saying. Right. Yeah, well, physically. Yeah, it's everything. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But then after that, you got to get to know them. Yeah, for sure. You know sure. what I'm saying? For know them. But you can kind of tell, like, you know, that energy. And then, mm. you know, everybody has a certain person that they like. You know what I'm saying? In this world, you know, it's some way some women like certain type of men. Like my mom, uh, happy birthday, heavenly birthday, mama. Hey, happy birthday, mom. Yeah, Yay. mama would have been 74 today. Oh, wow. She was young, Prince. Yes, yeah, mom died in her 60s. That's young. But uh, Sorry, a yeah. lot of uh, her, her sister, her mom, her aunties, they, uh, a lot of them died in their 60s. So oh, no. Now my sister's them is getting up in age when they yeah. get to 60. They oh, no. No, that's okay. We're going we're to break this yeah, curse. We're going to pass this. And we've already broken it. That's right. So there's more to come in life. For exactly. Them. Come on. You know? And speaking yes. of life, we got somebody that's full of life. Ah! And full of grace. All of that are Peace on the Streets team. Yeah. Guys, listen right now, peaceonthestreets.com. That's right. We have Mr. I call him Mr. Big Body Bruce. <laughs> hey! It's in the building. Bruce guy. Rothschild. On the phone, anyway. Former NFL. For San Diego. San Diego Chargers. We're sitting in the building. So, Bruce, how thank you, doing? you for being with us. Mr. Bruce. Hey, how are you? Um, well, you're, you're, you guys are bringing me on with such happy stuff about the aunties and uncles. I'm starting to a little here. I'm like, dang. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Mr. Bruce, for the uh, listeners that don't know him, uh, tell them tell them a little bit about yourself, Mr. Bruce. Well, I'm a former San Diego Charger. Back in the day when they played in San Diego, back in the old Jack Murphy Stadium, uh, uh, 79 through 81, I was a 
multiple sports guys. So I did track and field and mm-hmm. shot put hammer discus in college and uh, high school all American in football and, and, and college all American in track and field and then get picked up by the San Diego Chargers wow. uh, as a, a fullback and uh, got to ha- have some fun for a, a few years enjoying the NFL and I enjoy it more now that I wake up uh, on Mondays not sore except for getting old now. Uh, <laughs> but not without all the bumps, bruises, cuts, and everything else that you would would get in practice and on Sundays and just getting beat up. So is it, is it physical? Is it more physical than what we really see? Oh, it's a thousand times more physical. And it's a physical that you have to deal with because someone right behind you is, is – is, is chomping for your job. Put me in, coach. Put me in. He limping. Put me in, Every coach. Every time they're after him. Every time, like if the quarterback gets hurt, then you got the replacement. They're always after your position. Yes. Constantly. Oh, absolutely. Right. And the younger boys, because they're younger and faster. So that means how serious your off season training? Well, back in the day, it was a lot less because in my case. You'd have to have regular jobs and things like that. Huh. Oh, okay. Days, the money is so good. They've got with trainers. They've got uh, mm. dietitians. They have their mm. masseuse. That's a, that is a twenty four seven, twelve months out of the year. So mm. that has changed rather dramatically. Where we would get into shape for football because we would fall out of shape uh, because we're no longer at the training table. We didn't have the dietitians. So getting back into training camp was literally that. You had to get yourself worked back into shape. Nowadays, there there are so many camps. There, there are so many things that these folks are doing because the money is so much better. They can have full-time people to keep them in great shape to, to keep them flexible and things like that. So everybody didn't make the big money that they're making now. I mean, you know, just maybe the stars, you know. So everybody didn't oh, make yeah. So okay, I heard you say they had to get jobs. Oh, yeah. Uh, back in the day, uh, a lot of guys would work for a beer company because the beer company wanted us uh, uh, as their their uh their athlete on staff right. that they could bring out to these events and say, here's Bruce Rosser out to the San Diego Chargers, and I would shake hands with these CEOs. I'd shake hands with these, these liquor store owners and things like that. So you would meet people so you had a steady income because, in my case, I was making the league minimums. Okay. So back then, it was nothing. Literally, <laughs> there were guys who were working at the stadium making more money than I did. Whoa. Oh, man. And now they overpay the players. Who's worth $13 million? Are, are they overpaid? <laughs> because we say that they're overpaid, but you look at it, if they don't get the money, guess who gets it? Their families. The own, the the, uh, the owners. Then they overpay. Oh, yeah, the, owner, the owner is the ultimate winner. And wow. I really have no problems with players getting what they get because the amount of time we're in the league is so short right. that unless you get what you get, once you're gone, there is nothing unless you're, again, a top-notch player where you're getting a guarantee. Our stuff wasn't guaranteed. We get hurt on day two. We were out everything. Wow. Wow. So – yeah, it was very different. Uh, because they got now guaranteed money where, uh, you know, and they contract. I think, what is the the, 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 the minimum now? Is it a couple of million dollars? I, I guess a three, what is three-year contract now that they're giving? Well, they're giving one and two year, but the, they're multi-million dollars. Yeah. So one of the things that's happened is because of the TV money is so big right now and because of cable money coming in and all this other stuff, it's just massive. And you have to remember the NFL was set up as a nonprofit charity. So oh. they wow. pay like nothing in taxes. The uh, oh. With the, the owners, 
make money hand over fist from the stadiums and things like that and all the merch sales. So for the athlete, we're the least paid. Now, well, I should take that back. The cheerleaders are the worst Yeah. Paid. Wow. Yeah, they, they really don't pay the cheerleaders. I thought oh, the they, cheerleaders made some money. No, they don't make anything. I don't even think they make, is it $1,000 a game? No. Uh, and in some cases, they, they were making a few hundred dollars a game, <laughs> and they were only paid for the game. They weren't paid for the practice. They weren't paid for the travel. Wow. They weren't paid for any of that. And part of the NFL alumni now recognizes the cheerleaders because, gosh, they put in as many hours as we did, right. had almost as many injuries, and got treated like garbage. The mascot nowadays could make sixty grand as Whoa. a mascot or more, and the cheerleaders could make literally minimum wage. It's unbelievable. They're I athletes they as well. Minimum wage while they're while the game is on before after none of that not, not paid a penny wow how do you feel about the super bowl uh i thought it was a great game i really thought the eagles were were gonna pull it out my good buddy rusty russell who played for the eagles and also for the orlando predators uh he's my brother uh -huh. and boy we're cheering for the eagles because they look so good on paper. Yeah, and and one play near the the end of the of the uh, second quarter changed everything. Yeah, it did. Yes, it did. And that they got really bubble. two lucky breaks, Kansas City, because oh. I was pulling for Cincinnati, and the guy hit them out of bounds, and that gave oh, them yeah. the field goal, the winning field goal. So uh, oh, yeah. uh, uh, Kansas City got bailed out twice. Before that, oh, yeah. they playing Cincinnati, and the guy was all the way out of bounds, and he hit him. They gave him a fifteen yard penalty that was right up close. They kicked it. So you think they got blessed this year? Extra? Uh, yeah. Last game to this. But McCole is he, he's tough. He he's a tough guy. The, uh, the quarterback yeah, for Kansas he is. City. He, he seems to do well under pressure. He he, he plays so better when he's losing. Interesting. He's pretty young too. And the thing yeah. about him was right, coach, that they thought that they weren't gonna win it because they lost Hill. The guy went right. to Hill and went, wound up going to Miami. Hmm. And yep. so they – and it really did change their team. They, they wow. took, Because what I, with him, so many people had to play back because he was the fastest guy in the league. And, man, and he would throw the ball and he will smoke everybody. So now they had to really – it really showed how tough uh, Kansas City yeah, is right. because they had to change their whole style. Wow. Because now wasn't nobody playing back off them, you know what I'm That's saying? That's good. Management, so, coaching, yeah. all of that. Yeah. And then the coach, he used to coach for Philadelphia. Come on. Yeah, for Kansas City. Yeah, so it was like against them in the first <laughs> place. They knew everything. Yes. Doesn't say I like how they could switch it up in the middle of the game, though, because I've seen that. I've seen like the way they were doing plays and the way they had to do calls in the last minute and switch it up. That's good football. Right. That's good coaching. That's good everything. And by the way, since so you guys speak about people not getting paid, you know that the halftime artists, they don't get paid, right? They don't. But you get so much recognition. That's what it is. Yeah, you get recognition. They're, but I'm just saying, they don't get paid. So You're when the these performers, they perform for halftime, none of them get paid. And I was, I, I knew kind of that. Uh -huh. But um, th that's why some of them don't accept because that's the and the highlight of their career. They're already there. Right. They, I guess, could care less sometimes. But right. But some of them have to put their own money into their own performances. That's what I heard. Did you hear that as well? Like, Katy Perry performance was one of the best I've ever seen. It was just mind-blowing uh -huh. about how things just came out from the sky. But what do you think about Rihanna, guys? And congratulations, Rihanna. Yeah. She's got a new baby coming. That's right. Yeah. Coach, have you been to the Super Bowl? One more time. Have you been to the Super Bowl? Uh, I was actually at Super Bowl Seven. Okay. Uh, when Miami Dolphins had the undefeated season. Really? Story, my God. Hey, uh, here's your papers. Wow. Ooh. Just like Who that. Who knew? Just it's like a business. that. It's a business. Of course. It's a business. And when you get past high school and you get to some of these colleges, you you get to see the business. Okay. And But then when you get to the pros, it's uh, this is IBM – Meets Microsoft, meets GM, mm. meets meets the Grim Reaper. Wow, just like you that. Do not step out. 
unless you're an absolute superstar who gets a couple uh, gimmies. But huh. for the rest of us, no, there are so many clauses that we can't do. And and back in the day, you'd have to sign these clauses that said if you did something stupid or or See. bad for the team, boom, you're gone. Wow. You could not uh, disrespect the team or cause nothing because people are buying tickets. Because that's all they're looking at is ticket sales and the sales. And if you do anything, and that's what they were so mad at Kaepernick for. Because a lot of people left the NFL because of Kaepernick. Because they started allowing them to take the knee. There's some people say, if you allow them to take the knee, I ain't going to no more games. Oh, yeah. I heard a lot about that. And it was from the average Joe to uh, everybody had an opinion on it. Uh And everything I read about Kaepernick is that he went to a, a former special forces soldier who told him to get off his butt and don't sit on the bench during all this take a knee shows respect right and somehow that got blown sideways because of these crazy politicians that's showing no respect no that is showing the ultimate respect when he sat a lot of people felt that was very disrespectful but with taking a knee is like what a soldier does when he's honoring another fallen yeah. soldier right take a knee right my daughter is a west point graduate captain in the army come on She's in germany right now Woo-hoo! congratulations oh thank you very very proud of everything she did uh for this country uh she uh is a two-time conference champion in the discus uh i was lucky enough wow. to help train her uh from middle school on and uh, helped her get recruited by about 60 colleges and every academy out there wow. wanted her and she chose army Whoa. But watching these athlete scholar soldiers and what they had to do, and you never saw more respect when they raised the flag or yeah. anything. They they were literally stop in a race mm. and go to attention. Wow. This is yeah, real what he's saying. First of all, thank you for her services. West Point and Captain and Army? Yeah. And female? Man. Insane. Yes, it is. It's the top of the top of the top. It don't get no bigger than no, that. No, an I army mean, is the hardest branch for women yeah. to be up there, you know, within that. And that's a big deal. West Point is a huge, huge school. So we appreciate her services. And uh, Mr. Bruce is right. You know, when it comes to, like, the anthem, where we're working for the magic and we're in the executive boxes, uh-huh. when people walking up the stairs and people walking across, they stop. Right. They will stop wherever that and just turn around, mm-hmm. go towards wherever the stadium, you know, wherever they're uh, lifting that flag. And, right. And if you're talking, if you're walking, everybody looks at you. Right. You can't even me working. I have to stop. Right. I still have to serve, but uh-huh. I stop at the same time. So it's a it's a really big deal, especially in sports. Yes, it is. I get it. Yeah. When it comes to that, because we had to for playing college ball. I mean, whenever whenever we come on the national anthem, we had to stop whatever we was doing, whatever you were doing, and show uh, honor and respect. Yeah. You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. It's basically about a lot of respect. You yeah, know? for sure. I mean, these lives are, are they stop. I, my sister's active in the military, Air Force. I'm a military. Brat. My dad is um, a veteran in the game with an army, uh-huh. and I was raised this way. It's it's you must say yes or no, sir, yeah. and you must stop Most whatever definitely. you're doing right. when it comes to that. And, and it's just about the soldiers too, for what they they fight. They fight for to keep this country safe because it's, if not, we didn't have soldiers and and the army. We will all be drafted. We oh all have to get recruited, goodness. drafted. They would take all of us no matter what if no one wanted to volunteer. Exactly. And as well as their families go through it, it's suspension. They they don't get to talk to them for over a month or two. They they disappear. Right. You can't write. You can't. Well, you can write a little bit after the fact they're involved, but you can't speak with them at all for over a month. They no access to cell phones. I mean, they're gone. Right. And it's uh, it broke my heart to not talk to my sister for over. 30 days and it, I've never ever not spoken to her every day uh-huh. I felt like if they took her away she was gone forever it was horrible right. so it's a whole family affair we all have to support her come out there mentally they're really needed 
Yeah. They really need support. And when they travel and let them guys go to different countries, uh-huh. this is really hard for them. I bet I've it seen is. it. I've seen a lot of suicide going on within the young generation, too, of being in the military. So That's you right. support them, talk to them, write letters to them, let them know that you, you're here. We get it. Exactly. It's deep. Mr. Bruce. We saw we got to wrap this party up. Tell us uh, how can we find you and, and your also work. his project is yeah. coming up in March. So please tell us about what you do for the veterans. Exactly. Well, one of the things we started four years ago, it, it's called Veteran Cemetery Restoration Inc. And what we do in Brevard County, where I'm at, it's we find veteran graves that have been abandoned hmm. or just neglected. And so right now we take care of three cemeteries. They're African-American cemeteries that were established in 1912 and 1919. Whoa. And back in the day, they were uh, donation-only cemeteries, which they really still are now. So there's no long-term care. So these cemeteries were in horrible shape. There were open graves. There were homeless camps in there. And so we do quarterly cleanups. And in fact, we're going to be doing a cleanup at the J.S. Stone uh, Memorial Cemetery, uh, March 18th. We'd love to have you folks out there and, and the uh, and, and all the listeners out there. Uh, but between our wreaths across America, between our quarterly cleanups and things, we've literally taken out 12 tons of trash, human waste, garbage, liquor bottles, uh, dead trees. Just good for y'all. Uh, clothes that have been abandoned at, at a cemetery, which I still don't understand. Uh, and so this is something that we do. Uh, it's a nonprofit. Uh, we don't take a dime from this. Uh, everything we do is to raise funds for our uh, our flagpoles that we now have. Uh, we're, we're, we're changing out flags uh, uh, about every two months because we've got the six service flags. Wow. We have the American flag, the, nice. uh, the POW flags. So we're changing those out. We're doing cleanups. Uh, and uh, d- during COVID, it was just myself and Michael Cheek out there because we couldn't get volunteers because you couldn't get groups together. Right. So now that we're able to get our groups together, uh, we work with the American Legion Post 191 and 163. We work with the Knights of, of Columbus. Wow. Uh, we work with the local uh, uh uh, city council and uh but we're always looking for volunteers we're always looking for funds to help uh, get more flags to get more trash cans out there to be able to buy some equipment to help break things up so uh you can actually get hold of me on my cell phone uh you can actually call me directly on my cell phone and i'll actually give you my phone number 321-514-9874 or you can get hold of us on our our, 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 our our Facebook page, and that's Veteran Cemetery Restoration, or my regular business, Your Backyard Superstore. Uh, we're in Melbourne in the Melbourne Square Mall. Uh, you can give us a call. You can email. Uh, you can direct message me, and uh, we'll do everything we can to take care of our veterans. But we also take care of the entire cemetery, so we take care of 900 civilians, Along wow. With our wow. To, uh, of veterans. Great work, this man. This is amazing, guys. Great so, work. again, it's called Veterans Cemetery Restorations. It's J.S. Stone Memorial Cemetery Cleanup, Saturday, March 18th, 2023, 9 a.m. to noon, 2621 Grant Street, Melbourne, Florida, 32901. It's off of University Boulevard, turn north on Grant Street. If you guys miss this information, don't worry. It's on our Facebook page and also Instagram. We're going to post the flyer that Mr. Bruce gave us as well as, of course, we're going to keep supporting this. Most Mr. Definitely. Bruce will be right back with us speaking yeah. more about highlights of sports and also what he does for the community. Thank you so much for all that you do. He doesn't have to do these That's things. That's right. And he still continues on life and supporting others. And we appreciate others, you, man. Especially our veterans in the yeah. game. Again, thank you, your daughter, for her services. Yeah. And all the families out there that are actively on duty or even veterans in the game we uh, totally respect you yes indeed. and we appreciate you guys for doing all that you do you and your families ladies and gentlemen mr, mr. Bruce! bruce god bless bruce! you mr bruce and all your endeavors brother and we we can't wait to talk to you again and then after the event let's call and let us know how successful it is that's right uh, well you know it is so we appreciate you mr bruce and we support all your endeavors my man friends thank you
you, Mimi. Thank you. Awesome. We're talking to you guys. Thank you so much for supporting us. Uh, thank you for being friends of Veteran Cemetery Restoration, and thank you both for being my friend. God oh, bless I you, my it, man. Welcome back. Welcome oh, back to on. Peace on the Streets. Woo. And that's one of my favorite jams from the Osley Brothers. Wow. Atlantis. Come on. Yeah. So we got one of my favorite guests on me. I look forward to her coming on the show every Wednesday night. She always gives us the great news. Always. And then when I just talked to her, she said, hey, Prince, you need to be sitting down because <laughs> I am going to knock your socks off. Oh, my off. gosh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the CEO of Miss International World and Miss Latina International. Mrs. Angela. <laughs> Down. Come I, on. I is too. <laughs> Good. Well, before we get into this real wild big announcement, All right. we'd like to give we'd like to give a birthday shout out to Miss International World Supermodel 2021, Walina Rodriguez. Walina, one birthday. of my favorite girls, which I love them all. God bless your soul and many more, Walina. Come on. Yeah, so we got to give her a big birthday shout out, but. Prince, here we go. Here's the big announcement. Yeah. Next Wednesday, okay, we're going to be taking over the Peace on the Street radio show because we are going to be featuring artists and people from the iconic Copacabana. Shut oh, up, my out. gosh. We did, it. we did it. Come wow. on. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. We're going to have PJ. Um, who's uh, also got Juju Lickers. He's going to be like the what? main guy sponsoring it. We're going to have David Luca. We're going to have Ike Rio. Come on. We're trying what? to get Tito. Uh, we're probably, um, and we're going to get, I'm going to reach out to Lamont. We're going to get Lamont. We're going to have a full Copacabana show. Come love it. Oh, my God. I love and it. And let me say, if you guys don't know the history of it, please look back at this history. This you cannot use this word and their name That's right. for anything. Right. You get sued the bejesus out of Miss Angela has the power and we're very grateful and honored to be a part of this journey that's yes. able to do so. So now we're bringing it back in the game, Prince. Wow. This is a big change. Yes. They'll never is. forget us. Yes, we love it. A weekend, we're going to make a video. Mimi, I'll tag you. As a matter of right. my show this Friday, Make Our World Your Runway, is going to feature the iconic Copacabana, and Mimi and Ike will be my guests this Friday on Make Our World Your Runway. Yes! Nice. Congratulations. This platform is insane. Miss Angela has been doing it for quite some time, guys. So you definitely want to check up on these backgrounds. Impressive. Yeah. They're changing the game. They're changing lives. Yeah, I mean, the, the Copacabana really has some background. I was like, when I started reading the history of it, <coughs> wow. excuse me. I mean, it goes all, I mean, that goes back like to almost 1937. What? What? Like Frank Sinatra, like yep. the Dean Martin. Big yeah. Deal. And the first act, <coughs> excuse me, to play, the first act that played there was Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis. What? Really? Insane. What? Yeah. That was the first act oh going on. Then later on came The Temptations, The Four Tops. I mean, Motown, and when Motown was really smoking back in the day, a lot of the, the, the temps was the first group to come out of Motown to play the Copacabana. This is come insane. on now. What you say? I can't wait. Wow. Oh, yeah. I mean, you had a lot of Latin acts in there, too, because, of course, Copacabana, the name is actually from Brazil, and it really, it started on south, it really started south of the border, okay? Huh. Okay. But uh, it, it, just, it evolved. And then it, it had closed down, and then it came back, uh, the owner that has it now, it came back during the disco era, and Copacabana basically was uh, was a disco. But uh, they, what happened was when disco kind of faded out, they brought in the top Latin acts, and oh. it exploded again. Okay? Mm. So, yeah, the Copacabana really has some history, and that is the reason why we are uh, trying to bring it back, because 
I'll be honest with you. When I'm when I'm in a crowd and I tell people we're looking to bring back the Copacabana, they're asking me for my autograph. I'm like, oh, oh my what? gosh, what? Yeah, that's how this, big this is. This is how big this is. Now, here's the thing: there's only one other person, and they know it up in New York, that's involved with the Copa, other than me. Because I said I'm not doing it without her is Miss Mimi. Yeah, oh yeah. my goodness, you're right there. Yeah, yeah. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I said I'm not doing this without Mimi. I said, so Come guys, on. if you want the Copa, I have to bring in Mimi. They said, Br bring Mimi in. Oh my gosh. They said, because we know, and, and they love the fact that you know the piece on the street's gonna do this show next week. Uh, so Come Mimi, on. they love you up in New York. Nice. Oh my gosh, I am so honored and grateful. <laughs> oh, we're gonna just like blow this out the water because our energy is insane, and together we can make magic. That's right, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, so it, I mean, it's gonna be a great show, uh, Mimi. In fact, Mimi, we'll be on the show Friday. You'll get a chance. Because they'll bring you on and Ike on together, and then of course Ooh. I'll bring you on first, then her. So you'll get a chance. To, I'll introduce the two of you. Ooh. And uh, she gave me her phone number, so I'll start getting all these phone numbers out, so you can start registering. You know, everybody's calling time for next week. That's right. And in fact, I met Tito's uh, on the phone today on the call. I met Tito's booking agent. Antonio. Whoa. So he, when I told him what we were doing, he's, oh my God, get me on that show next week. Come oh. on, guys. There's so many people that are going to be looking at you. This is a beautiful thing. Yeah, so we got to play a little bit of the Copacabana theme when we get everybody on the show next week. That's a clever I mean, idea. Right. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll kick it off, and then PJ will come on, and then all these, everybody will come on. And of course, Prince got to announce everybody coming on. You better believe Does it. Does Coco Cabana <laughs> have a certain song, Miss Angela? Yeah, Barry Manilow did the song, the Copacabana. You know, we will be playing we're going to air one. that next week For when sure. we have these guests come on from yeah. Copacabana. Uh -huh. You guys really got to understand this. This is like, again, history from the 1950s of so many artists that actually played here. I was looking up to see if Salia Cruz played there because she's a huge uh, Cuban legacy as well. So there's like really oh, yeah. throwback artists, Prince. I mean, that has changed the game in music. Right. And just to be a part of this, it's kind of like the Apollo, how we grew up with the it, Apollo, exactly. how to change the game. Yeah. You know, that's like then. So to be a part is – you, you, you can't touch it. But you know what? I think uh, uh, this is bigger than Apollo. It absolutely I is. Mean, I mean, this was, I remember Apollo's more for our generation, year. but this is going back when it, it goes started. It goes back in the day. Yes, it is. I mean, a lot of stars. I remember just so many stars, big stars, wanted to play there and, and didn't. And some stars didn't get a chance to play there. Didn't even. That's how big no. it is, you know. They, so exactly. I am honored. Not only, not only that, I was reading that even when the Copacabana was closed, they opened it up for a lot of movies. Now, Goodfellas, they opened up the Copacabana oh, for that. Did they? Uh, I didn't yeah. even know Goodfellas was in the Coca Cabana because I, I watched yeah, it plenty of times. They did. In Remember? The restaurant? Yeah, in the restaurant. The, what? Yeah. This is insane. When, when oh, the yeah, guy... they, I mean, they, they, did a, they did a lot with that. I mean, uh, Beyond the Sea, that was all about Bobby Darren. They opened it up for that. Whoa. Uh, yeah, the Coca Cabana was also, I'm trying, yeah, Goodfellas. I didn't know he was in Goodfellas. Yeah. They, uh, They've opened it up a lot of times for, uh, I believe, I'm not sure if, I got to look this up. I know when they did the Mambo Kings, I, excuse me, I think that was done at the Palladium. But they might Whoa. have done part of that in the Copacabana. It's I got to look that up because, and, and again, what I found out today, what I didn't know, this I really didn't know, that in the state of Florida, throughout the entire United States, this is where salsa is alive. It's not even in New York anymore. Mm. It's here. Yep, it's here. Salsa, oh, this, is, this is the salsa state. That's why Come on. they want to put the Copacabana back here because they know that it will survive. Yes, it will. Yes, I, I think I so. I mean, Sasa, come on, like big Boricuas, where you at? Yeah, this is it right and here. right down there in Miami, you I know. I mean, talking about Kissimmee here in Orlando, you uh, know, we got a little Puerto Rico over here. Sure we do. have so many gems out here, and so and the audience is insane. Yep. The support is insane, and we must get together. There's a huge, huge opportunity. Yes. It's yes, clean, it it's is. safe. And now what we're going to be doing down this way um, is... Um, our, my friend Charles up in New York, there are two captains that love the Copacabana. They own yachts. We're going to be doing the Copacabana yacht cruises. Come on. Say? 
Come nice. on. We're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to watch Carla from now. Well, we're ready. We've got to go live. Uh, yes, right. we will. Oh, yeah, we we got to go live on that. And the uh, the following week, on March the 1st, and we'll get them on the radio station, I've got Miss Bahamas and Miss Canada flying in. Mm. Come on. Because they're going to be going to the, uh, the women's event with me on March the 2nd. So they will be here. So we'll be able to get them on Peace on the Street. Yes. Sweet. Yes. Big Bring deal. them on, Miss Angela. Bring them on. Oh, yeah. So, like I said, this is, go- this is really going to be great. And if we can get this uh, Copacabana. In fact, I got a call from uh, Harris Casino today. What? And they they just went crazy. But now they're building, like the, the way the Hard Rock is built, they are going to build on the outside. And that's where a permanent Copacabana could be built because then it would be an entrance from the casino into the club. So uh, also uh, Las Olas Boulevard in uh, Fort Lauderdale would be a great place to put it. Wow. The only reason why it didn't make it the last time was in Fort Lauderdale because it was – on Andrews Avenue, which is kind of an off street, okay. it's not a main thoroughfare. But in the beginning, in the beginning, I would say it opened up in the month of September. In September and October, and even in November, that was standing room only in that club. What? You, you could not get in. I did my pageant in there, okay, my 2011 pageant in there. Huh. They had to get the fire department because people, uh, the, the place was loaded. Okay. Mm. Wow. We were supposed to have 1,500, and then we had 2,500. Now, we even had them in the balcony. They were hanging off. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. What? <laughs> yeah. I've never experienced anything like it. Not yet, at least. I did um, the, the largest audience we've done was the 10,000 people at the Salsa Fest in Hollywood. Uh-huh. And that was by Miss Angela. You know, she ex- we got that hookup. We got that on stage presence because of her. Right. You guys, she's a beast. Yes, yeah, she Miss is. International World. She definitely takes you places that you've never been before. And it's one crazy experience and absolutely perfect. I mean, the Super Bowl, remember last year? Yeah, the we Super Bowl were Live. Super Bowl. We were in two years ago, we went to Tampa when, when Tampa was there. Exactly. And we were there in Tampa. We brought all the girls with us from Miss International World that were able to make right. it. And we did that live on set right there on their turf, which nobody can ever get in unless you're connected with the NFL. That's right. We were the very few media allowed to be on the turf. And and, and what it took to get it, I mean, to go through it. What it took. Remember, I had need to have hip surgery. Yes. It was so much walking. It was. Know? <laughs> it's a lot of walking, but to, to get it was in, worth it. the credentials is insane, extremely strict. Right. And I'm very grateful for the patients and also just the whole, like, r- she routed us the right way. That's you know, right. All I had to do was do the rest of the work, but it was very intense. Yeah. And finally, you know, we got the permission to, to be to allowed to be on the premises. And the girls that came was, out. Yeah, that was fabulous. Well, we got another big announcement, too. Oh! Next Friday, February 24th, we're going live. On Margaritaville at Sea, we'll be in port. We're doing a photo shoot. Oh my with two gosh! Of our sponsors, but we're gonna go live. Nice. This is amazing. Yes, it is. Yep, uh, that's gonna that's gonna be another great uh, great shoot. And it looks like the pageant. We're gonna be setting the date October sixth, seventh, and eighth on Margaritaville at Sea. Come on, I can't Let's wait go. for greatness to come. Yes, indeed. Let's I'm go. So excited. Yeah, well, this, this time, Prince, you better get that tuxedo ready. I got it ready. It, it, it's, it's ready. I promise you it's ready. It's ready to go. No hip problems this And if time. anybody wants to take a, you know, a, a trip with us, remember, we get a great discount. That's right. Peace on the Streets uh, listeners or partners that wants to go on this cruise, just let me know, especially our team. Uh-huh. You know, the discount is not what you will get out there in the public. Exactly. And that's such a grateful honor to be a part of this. Yes, it, it is. It changed my life, to right. be honest with you. All right. I'm just saying. It was I a great you. experience. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. I mean, like I said, it's, it's going to be, like I said, we get that Copacabana up. Oh, my God. Uh, it, Like I said, it will be it will be amazing. Now, what I did today to keep the casinos on my side, I told them, I said, look, I said, you know, I said, we have, I said, I said, I, I work, I partner with Margaritaville at sea. I said, if you're doing huh. anything special. I said, we can always get you a certificate for a free cruise. Mm. Well, there was silence on the phone, and all of a sudden, the woman I was speaking to, she says, I don't know whether to come over that phone to hug and kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I said, well, either one. I said, doesn't. <laughs> because, and you see, that's how you have to, that's how you have to work it. That's it. See, that's networking. Mm-hmm. Right. You guys are getting networking one-on-one, Miss Angela, right now. Yeah. That's networking. And you got to give a little, to get a little. Most and, and that's like, why do you think we all, they all stick together as successful people in business? Yeah. Why do you think? You they understand the logistics of it. They understand what it takes to give. Right. As well as they they, they will receive. Exactly. But you do got to give up, you know, some of your portion and, and give up what what's around you because that's why they're there. That's it's it. the value and the purpose and, and to keep the world going around. I've seen it. I've been there. I love it. I just absolutely love it. It yeah. makes myself want to stay. And, and it, it only makes sense, though. I mean, it, it truly it does. It's sense. all about that, like, it's that life of But you know, serve, a lot of people, gain. they keep their hands so tight, nothing can come in. You know, they feel like, I'm going to get what I got, and I want to keep it tight. No, you got to release it. Yeah, and also, too, yeah, there's a lot of people that's been burned, and that's why exactly. they're afraid to. You, yeah. You've got, yeah, you definitely have to release it. And let's face it, in New York City at one time, you, it was the cold, every Friday and Saturday night, between the Apollo, the Palladium, the Copacabana, Psh, the Latin Quarter. Wow. You couldn't get into these Latin clubs. Quarters? Come oh. on, Miss Angela. <laughs> I, was, I had the experience not, to get to Latin Quarters. Okay. That's yeah. it. You could, not get in, you could not get into these clubs. I mean, these, these places were iconic, but the Copacabana really had the name. Okay? Right. And if you were an act and you played the Copa, you know you made it. Right. That's it. Yes. Yeah. That was wow. the thing. You know, you made it, uh, and it was. And unfortunately, when it closed, there was so many acts that didn't get a chance to get to get in there. Okay. Uh, okay. But now we're going to open it back up, and let's face it. It's. I'm. I'm telling you, it's going to explode because I look at it. all the big Latin acts that are starting to come back out. Right. Now, Willie Chirino was semi-retired. He's coming back out again. Mm. Okay. And Willie now Willie Chirino and Tito are performing. Up somewhere up in Tampa, the end of March. Okay. They're doing a show together. So think about it. All the Latin, a lot of these big Latin acts are coming back out. Awesome. I can't wait for more greatness to come. So, yes. guys, you must tune in next Wednesday for the update of the Cabana. We're going to have the, some of these people that are part of this movement, as well, especially Juju, the liquor company that we have gave a shout out to. Yeah. I can't wait to hear more about where they came from and uh-huh. how that originated, which ain't from the United States, by the way. Okay. So, there's much and more to come within that. Exactly. Much more to come. So, yeah, and of course, Lamont, being that he loves Tito and he, know, he knows all about the Copacabana. Oh. Uh. Yeah, so that yeah, it's it's gonna be a it's definitely gonna be a great great show. Sweet. And uh, Mimi, we got a. I'm thinking about getting you down here, and <gasps> we're gonna partner with um, 95.9, the oldie station, because Scott Shannon also I found out today is a big. Big fan of the Copacabana. Oh, come oh, on. Boy. South Florida, I am there. I love it. <laughs> I love the love, and I love the people, and I love the cultures. There's so many beautiful people down there, and they're willing to party. <laughs> the nightlife is nice yeah. in Miami. It, it's like no other. It's like no other. I mean, I'm telling you, last time I went there for that for the Salsa Fest, I even had a concierge service that picked me up and took me to the exclusive clubs where I met Terrence from BET. Remember back in the day with 106 in Park? Uh-huh. I actually met him, and right. I had security watching me and walked me in and sat right by me and walked me out and took me to my vehicle. I didn't have to wait for no one. I didn't have to go to no other transportation. They literally got me on this bus, which was insane. So it's like the experience is once of a lifetime, and truly in business, they take care of you. They make sure that you're safe, you're sound, and you're being really like well respected because it's the public that you're reaching out to, right? And you you don't we want to go in there understanding like how humble and grateful you know what, what you have, and the people will truly take care of you in Miami. I had one of the yes, best experiences of my life. Exactly. Yeah. And you know it's funny because when I was talking to this guy Antonio today, and because Charles had called me up, and when I mentioned peace on the street, he said, "Wait a minute." He said, is that the station? He says, up there. He says, I hear Mr. Air Force One is on a <laughs> I said, that's it. So, see, Prince, you're getting a reputation. Prince, Air Force One, listen, <laughs> if it's not me, it's Miss Angela. Yeah. Representing <laughs> all corners. When you go to down South Florida, you can be recognized just because, Miss Angela. Right. Uh, we are we're being heard everywhere. But let me just say, South Florida is going to know who you are. Oh, <laughs> right. It's, there's that's so much right. more greatness to and come. And when the Copa Cabana comes in and we all make a drink, got a couple of limousines, put the wings on there, the other one would say, Mimi, and everybody rides in style. 
Woo-wee. More to come. That's it, friends. Yes, it By is. the way, Bird Mellow played out here in Orlando. This is the song, y'all. Well, Miss Angela, we thank you. We appreciate you. Give us all your contact information as we ride off in the banner. Well, you're gonna get, you can always get me on Instagram, Miss International World. And you can always get me on my personal page, Facebook, Angela Basilico. But the best place to get me every Wednesday night, he's on the streets radio. Oh, my goodness, yes, guys. All the updates guys. from Miss International World, Miss Latina International. By the way, Barry Manilow played out here recently, and he still was on tour. Uh-huh. He still performs. Completely sold out here in Orlando, Florida. Right. And they said it was the best shows they've ever seen. No exaggeration. He's a beast. It's still going on. So we're so grateful to be a part of this Th- mission and that's journey. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen. Mrs. Angela <laughs> and the Coco Cabana. <laughs> want to be a part of our team so full again, sale. we appreciate full sale man guys reach out we are not afraid so we got Durga Durga give me shout out say goodbye good night you all <laughs> it's a pleasure being here well, and you just right, created right, your first right, commercial right, ad huh yes, I just created my first commercial ad we oh. got some more coming y'all gonna hear my voice more often no, come on right. Durga no, no. you better tune in because you're about to hear her on the commercial every single top of the hour piece on the streets Kiana you just did the whole little first DJ set, Kiana. Yeah. She was behind the table. How'd it feel? It felt good, and it was a little nervous, For but sure. it was cool. I know it. I believe it. I feel it now. Yeah, I saw the lights in your eyes, though. <laughs> you look very happy. <laughs> I, think they like it. I, like, I think they like it. They like I love it. I love it. <laughs> and yo, in the building. And yo. Yo, what's up? What's up, fam? Sorry I wasn't able to be out here with you guys, but I was behind the scenes working on a little something. So <laughs> for everybody that uh, might be curious, you can now watch us live yes. on Mimimala.com Colin. as well as PeaceOnTheStreets.com. Yeah, yay. Yeah. Now live is working, so everybody go uh, check it out. Click the live, watch us live button, and you can not just hear us, but also see us. Come hang out with your fam out here. Come yes, on. I'm so grateful for Enyo. He's a beast, guys. I'm telling you, when it comes to web and visuals, this is him. If you want a part of our team, you can select them on their own. That's you don't right. have to just grab the whole team. This is what we do. We're a family. We build each other. Exactly. So thank you so much, Enyo. Now, Mimimala.com has got the Peace on the Streets live Woo-hoo. streaming yeah. every Wednesday, 9 to 12 a.m. Eastern Time. The saddest thing is wasted talent. Don't waste the gift that God has given you. Go full force and never let fear or intimidation stop you. What a snow show! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boning knees to you too, me, <laughs> me. You guys, we thank you all for tuning in every Wednesday night to Peace on the Street Radio Show. You guys be safe and tell your loved ones you love them. You guys never know. Your parents, if they're still alive, kiss and call your parents Amen. and say, hey, you love them. Amen. Because you never know, because you only get one mother and a father. And you once guys, they're gone, so it's forever, man. So that's it. I send them messages every day. I say, I love them. Every day we speak. We love you guys in Orlando, Florida, and listening outside of the state. If it wasn't for you guys, we wouldn't be here. That's thank right. you so much for your and time. And we want to thank our family, WOKB 1680, for allowing us to be here 100.1. 7 FM. Yeah. We adore WOKB, and, and we're so grateful for you guys. Drina, a Glenn, Chris Shaw, Shanti, our, our girl, Woo! the whole family, you guys. Peace on the streets. We out of here, you guys. Enjoy our last song, Anita Baker. Come on. Right here on the Peace on the Streets. Three-time solo award winners. Yay. Yay.